Welcome back to Taco Tech Time. Uh, thanks for joining the EMS uh, division. We have an exciting new product here uh, that we're going to be showing you here is the 4 Advanced Pro. So shout out to 2s, 20s, 56s, and 6s. Thanks, Cruz, for test trialing our new glucometer. They did vouch for it and said this is the way, the city way. So the way. This is the way. This is the way. I am confident that most of you will all like it. There'll be very minimal to no mistakes uh, or errors, hopefully. Cross our fingers, right? But uh, further ado, like I said, I'm gonna introduce the glucometer here. The, one of the big things, it's a new HD tech on the LCD screen, easily readable, has a little mini light blue light on the end of it so you can test um, when you're testing your patients in the dark you can have better visibility another quick thing is that the biggest thing change for this new glucometer is that it will read your test strip in five seconds and be ready and it'll t uh, give your readings in five seconds or less so that was kind of the big issue from the last glucometer was simply it just took too long as soon as you put the test strip in now I believe that problem is solved so like I said, a lot of good feedback from the online crews, and I'm confident that we can move forward with this. Hopefully, once we get this video out and you guys watch it and review it, I can get those glucometers out this week and uh, swap out from the old ones. I'll hand deliver everything and make sure you guys are ready to go, and hopefully we can and move on. This section of the video, we're just going to show you how to use the control solutions. You want to use the console, control solutions uh, at, as soon as you get the monitor and then at least once a month. And or if you get inaccurate readings, that's another time you want to do it. If everything's running fine, okay, a monthly check is a good uh, idea to have. These will be in our, your, your glucometer case as well. So we're going to show you just the demonstration of the, the low and the high. First, you get your test strip. All you're going to do is plug that in there right there. You'll hear the ding for it to be ready. Grab your low control solution, add a little dab on top, and then you're going to dip the test strip in. Wait for that beep, and you'll get the five second countdown. And now you get your reading right there. Look on the test strip bottle. The low runs from 29 to 59. You'll see it on here, and it's obviously uh, in the right setting. Next, you're gonna do the same thing. Take another test strip out. And just simply place the test strip in. Grab your high now solution. Place the drop on the very top. Take the glucometer, dip the test strip. And in about five seconds, you'll get the same reading for a high, which should be reading on your strip bottle. And at the high range, you should be at 274 to 370. So it's in within range and working properly. That's how you use your control solutions. All right, in this section, we're gonna just show you how to use a glucometer on a regular sugar check here. Okay, first get your equipment, obviously. Get your Lancet, you got your Band-Aid and your alcohol prep, and your test strips and your glucometer. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and clean the area with the finger that you're gonna take the test on. Give it a good scrub. Then prep your test strip into your glucometer. Again, it'll be five seconds or less, it'll be ready. And by the time you find your location with your Lancet, go ahead and push, one, two, three. Give it a little bit of squeeze. Now, into the test strip there. Have your Band-Aid ready and within five seconds, you'll get your reading. And we have a good healthy reading here. Now again, real quick, as soon as you release the test strip out, it'll automatically turn off. And at this point, if for some reason you took it out too soon and you didn't take the reading, you could just push the up arrow button once, 
and it'll give you the current reading and or if you can toggle through multiple readings if need be. Alright, in this section we're going to do some common air codes. Uh, there are about nine of them, but realistically there's going to be four that potentially could come up uh, that are common. The first one is going to be an EB code, which simply means you have to replace the double AAA batteries in the back. So if that comes up, just replace that and you should be good to go. The next one is if you test the blood too soon, we're gonna use the control solution as an example of blood. So this would mimic the air code EU. -E so as, as you push it in, you're coming and trying to grab the control before you see the, the beep on there. So as soon as I took the sugar too soon, you get that E dash U. <laughs> All right, another common common error code that you're gonna find is the EF. That means you remove the test strip before the countdown finalized after the five seconds. So to mimic that, we're gonna go ahead and enter your new test strip and pretend we're gonna go ahead and grab a test of blood when it's ready. And as it's counting down, for whatever reason, you accidentally remove it or it gets uh, dislodged too soon. So now you'll get the E-F. All right, another common error code is E-F again, but this is the time where you can't collect enough blood and it'll tell you that in error code out. So as you're gonna check, you're waiting to get your sample. And now you come to the patient trying to collect the blood, but there's not enough and it only fills part of the test strip. There you go. You have E-F because you didn't collect enough blood. And one last error code, just because it is relative to us in Sacramento, is E-T, which is your temp. So this glucometer can be can malfunction if it's below 46 degrees and or above 113 degrees, which you know in Sacramento, sometimes in those ambulances, can get up there pretty soon. So if you get an E-T, that has to be related to temp. So just take it out of the controlled that environment and get it in a controlled environment to get it back to manufacturing. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thanks for your time with Taco Tech Time. Glucometers are coming out soon. A couple things to remember is remember the air codes, E, B, E, U, E, F, and E, T. All right. And a couple other things too is times out after three minutes once you have the test strip in. Also, the auto shut off will happen when you take the test strip out. But the memory, of course, will always be there as soon as you push the up, bear, up arrow button on the glucometer itself. All right. And lastly, do not throw it away. We'll come and replace it. Uh, come to SSC, come to EMS Division, or EMS 2223 will handle, help you out. And again, thank you so much for coming. wait for it to check ready to check but this is where you can't get enough blood to, from the patient and it only gets halfway through the strip oh. <laughs> one more time one more time one more time oh it get digging oh I took it out too soon that was the uh... <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. I was like it did do it no it didn't that was from when taking out all right, as simple as that. We tested it out. We showed you how to take a glue. Uh, glu Jeez. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. I appreciate your time.